This is Martin Cali for CFS and in 4 AD Richard. Richard, I want to talk about what it means by the term is someone's a silent key because we just lost someone that's been an active member in the club and I thought this is a good time to talk about it. You did such a great job of honoring them as the leader of JARS last night and I just want people to know because they may not know what the what silent key means. Well, Silent Key started out in the old uh, teletype where people were on a CW key. And Silent Key basically stipulates that that key is a silent and deceased. So no more keying from that uh, amateur radio operator. And so we had someone that would talk about the person we just lost. Yep. Uh, we lost a founding member of the JARS Club, uh, WB4EBG, uh, Billy Maskingill. He went by the uh, name of Big Billy since we had so many Billies in the club. Uh, he was, uh, like I said, a founding member, an Elmer, and a fr uh, friend and family to basically everybody in the club. Not basically, but was. <laughs> Right, right. Well, it was just nice because the club did a way of honoring them, took a moment at the club. Talk about some of the things they did to honor them, because I think it's a, a kind of a, a nice ceremony that this club chooses to do. Yep. Uh, we actually turned the repeater off uh, the day before his funeral uh, until after his funeral. So we turned it off about nine o'clock uh, Thursday or Wednesday night and came back on about 4 p.m. after his funeral service. That's basically stating that we lost somebody dear and true to our hearts. So we uh, is a way of honoring a deceased uh, ham. And do they do anything different with the call sign, or is it is it memorialized in any way? What are some of the options that exist? Well, uh, FCC basically sits there and uh, will sit on the call for about uh, six to eight years depending on if a family member decides to try to apply for it. But if it's not, um, if it's not gained by a family member, it goes back into uh, an active rotation. So somebody else could actually get his call sign in, in about eight to 10 years normally. We did do a little ceremony, well, Mike Callum did, uh, KD4MC, where we, he was called out three times and then said that basically he was a silent key and he has crossed over to a better life. And, you know, it's a, it's a real tribute to the hams. It's basically like a law enforcement officer does on their last day or when they deceased, they actually call them out as well. Yeah, I just think it's a nice piece of honoring hams. And like you said, sometimes a family member will pick it up. Thanks for just taking a moment telling about it. I'll put some links below for some other references. This is the first time I've been at a meeting, though I've been a hams where, where we honored a silent key. But I had uh, my mentor, uh, you know, years ago, my mentor was Dick Bittner, uh, in another club, and he passed away. He was my Elmer getting into it, and I remember. I don't remember the club event. I might have missed it, but I did get to go to his funeral, and he was a Mason, and it was a big deal there. Last night was kind of nice. How we we took a moment and honored the passing of a ham radio operator. Yes, uh, you know, ham radio operators are more than interested in the same hobby. We become very close and almost like an extended part of the family. Uh, like I tell my people in the JARS group, we're not, you know, just members of the club. We are family. So we, we, we get very close with one another. We see them very frequently. So, you know, once a month normally, sometimes twice a month. So we, we seem to get, you know, very attached to our members. And, you know, it's basically a way of honoring a family member. Excellent. Thanks, Richard. I appreciate it. This is KI4CFS and N4AED.